it wraps like a heart attack. That's fatal heart impact. Past painful thoughts. In fact, I blast tasteful thoughts and past. I back up my actions. Back don't ask. Grab reactions. Jack attack with every word. Then act with class. As they hear me snap. I got nothing to lose. Cause I fought and felt the bruise. Now I'm not the one confused. Call the shots and they produce. I ain't boss. I'm finally loose. Pick a new silver so excuse. I need the views to boost me through a new abuse of being used. Everybody wants a piece now. Y'all can rest in peace now. You're dead to me. So peace out. Remember you just freaked out. Get ready for defeat. Alrighty, hello, hello everybody, this is Kirusho here, and now, whenever we last left off, with this series, quite a bit of things have been happening. Deku and his crew, they discovered exactly what happened to Earth, and Deku, because nobody else can really stomach looking at the planet through the eyes of the drone, he took up the controller and did so. The last couple of weeks, Deku was gaining more information and piecing things together. Something strange happened on Earth. From what he can tell, somewhere around 300 years has passed for the planet. And it doesn't make sense. From the date he left to the date he's seeing on the records, it doesn't add up. Somehow, 300 years has passed, and this calamity that destroyed the humans, that destroyed their planet, it happened somewhere around 70 to 80 years ago. And that's another thing. Where does that leave humanity? It's, well, gut-wrenching. Well, the crew, they were trying to at least boost their morals by drinking and playing some poker. It hasn't really been doing too much as we do have with Deku. Deku, he's at least admitted drunkenly to a key that he's okay with the idea of being in a relationship with her. He respects her, and he does even at least have certain feelings like that towards her. And a key, she herself did at least admit to a similar thing. And we do currently have Deku. Deku, yeah. After what happened last night, he does wake up, and what would be the afternoon, if you were keeping track of time with a clock. However, they're, they're out in space, so it really doesn't matter. Deku will wake up a few hours later, him with a killer hangover, and kind of confused about what's going on. As he does get up, walk out of his room, and go to the mess hall. Whenever he does go to the hall, he is kind of curious. He's wondering about different things with humanity, and even possible information that Yaji do have on them. He can vaguely recall a conversation. He remembers talking about something last night with a key, maybe? He can't really piece it together too well. But it was something about information on humanity. If they don't have it, the Yaja may be able to. Possibly... Asking might be the best bet. That being where Deku, he does at least go to the brig and make a phone call. As well, he's going through the computer connections, and he does at least go to send a connection through. You do have where the Yaja does pop up. Deku looking at the old man who is sitting there. Exactly what is it, Scar? Hmm? Hello, Elder. I had a few questions about your information on humanity. Scar, the information our people has on humanity, we have them all on file and on records. And if you are not at the right clearance level, you cannot view them. That is all we do know. Besides, you are not in a need to know. Everything you can find on humanity should be on your planet. What's left of it? The records you should be able to go through, remains of it, and most likely, I can't. What does that mean, Scar? Something else has happened to this planet. The planet itself has been struck by something, something powerful. A weapon capable of breaking things up. The moon's no longer in orbit, it's off its axis, it's not rotating properly. 
The fact is, it seems like it's barely being held together by gravity. Really? Yes. We've been able to scavenge and reclaim certain records. Your daughter, Akishi, informed me that you guys have some stuff. I was hoping to piece it together with what we have. And I was also curious about another thing. Really? What are you so curious about, Scar? I would like to know more information about the engineers. I'm... Well, I understand you guys have been roadblocking humanity because you do not see us as worthy. But I would like this information on planets affected by this goo like substance. I want to check something out. I need to be able to see if those planets are affected the same way. Then, well, I wish to head back, get my people trained, get them put through some training reg regiments and at least get them started on actually becoming warriors. Hmm? Tell me, Scar, do you intend to make humanity a fully-fledged clan? Hmm? I do. You do. I see. And what would make you different from any other Yaucha? Your species, they seem to be less committed than our own members. They they think that Earth is in one piece. That's why this mission was originally made. This mission is to prove Earth is no longer here. We have our proof. After this, we're going to tell everybody. I want my people motivated on the idea of getting people back. Getting the people who did this to our home killed, destroyed heads on spikes, and, possibly, even destroy their own species. Interesting. You'd be willing to give your people a need to have revenge? A need to kill, yes. Now, somebody they are currently stalking the conversation, as they're right outside the door, and they're listening in. I wish for my people to be able to actually participate more. But the fact that we're the only ones left of our species, if they're stuck in that pen, I don't know what you'd do with them. I don't know if you'd see it as a waste of resources and leave them on their own in the wilderness. That planet is dangerous enough as it is, without any form of training and no form of help, they would all be slaughtered. That is an accurate estimate. However, who's to say I won't just cut you off now? Now that you are a leader, and you have the capacity to hold your small numbers in that ship. Because. I'm fairly certain you are curious to see what we do whenever we are grounded, and we have the ability to travel, but we do not. You already know what I do, and that was before I had a ship. You know I wish to travel the stars and find the engineers. You know... Once I find one, I won't let it go. I'll track it down to the point where it's cornered. And I believe that you are waiting for me to do so. Because if I find an engineer, you yourself would be curious to hunt it. Hmm. Interesting idea, Scar. However, who's to say I haven't already killed an engineer myself? I don't know. That's just it. This theory only falls apart whenever I take into account that you have a very, very much amount of knowledge. Far more than anything I could probably even comprehend. You are a wise old one. I see. I will see what my people can send over. And I, myself personally, will be giving you some files. These are top clearance, so they are for you and your crew only, the ones you permit to see them. If anybody else sees these documentations, then you must handle them. Either give them the proper access, and or if they do have unlawful access, execute them. Is that understood? I understand, sir.
The conversation ending. As Deku, whenever he does go to sit up and go to stand back onto his feet, he does sort of look back at the screen for a minute. Hmm? That's weird. Deku would at least press down a few things on the consoles. Okay. Something's going on with their scanning instruments. They're still being run. Hmm. Okay, let's see. The instruments didn't pick up much. Deku typing a few things down on the computer. With the electromagnetic magnetic field disrupted because of the Earth and the way it's currently, well, messed up, there shouldn't be anything caught on here. But what is this? Deku clicking a button. As you do actually have where something is on his screen. And he at least does go to press on it before he does at least start to hear a voice. Hello? Is anyone out there? What the? Listen, I don't know much of what to explain. If anyone is out there on Earth, please respond. We haven't been able to get into contact with anybody. This radio signal should take a few, well, weeks to travel. Years or even possibly decades, but please, somebody respond. We've been able to get no feedback or even response. Our instruments have gone dark. And most of our crew, we've been forced to go into cryo. We don't know what's going on. We were en route for Mars and then something happened. Our instruments are messing up. Hello? Listen, this is the captain. I don't have much time. I myself need to get into stasis. Before all the power does go down. Backup power should keep us alive for a while. But please, respond to us. We were on a mission to Mars. If anyone's out there, Please, tell us what's going on. No one's gotten back to us and we can't get any information. Please respond. Deku at least going to wait on that. Mars? That's weird. But it's not. Wait. Okay, if actual time passed and there's people on Mars, they need to go there. That's insane. They didn't even think about Mars. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. He knew that the space station, they tried finding it, satellites even. Those are debris all caught up and smashed into the orbit. Or they're just possibly in deep space. He thought they were picking up one earlier, but could it have been that message? Hmm. Okay. Deku turning his instruments away from the Earth and into space. As Deku does is go to fire a message towards Mars to see if he might be able to get a response. And whenever Deku does start to at least push down a few more buttons, a few people do walk in. And Deku does turn whenever his crew is standing there. Hmm? So what's up? Uh, not much. Deku not even facing away, or even looking up from the computer. Listen, I think I may have found a lead. W what do you guys know about space travel besides what? We're on the... We're on a... God damn, I need a drink. Too hungover for this. What do you guys know about space travel? Uh, besides the ship we're on? Not much. Yes, I actually would like to examine the engines. And even possibly go over a few things. Okay, listen. Drop all the science bullshit. Right now, I found a message in space. Really? Yeah. Human born in human sense, most likely. That or if a species can imitate us, it's that. But they said they're going to Mars. Something's wrong with their instruments, though. And from what I've gathered, they might still be alive. Scar, that's insane. I know. But right now, it's our only possible lead. I've just turned our instruments to scan towards the area close to Mars. Even the destination. If there's anything out there like a ship, we'll probably be able to find it. Hell, I just pray we do. Now, Deku, he does get to do one more thing. As a precaution, he also does this go to get back into the captain's chair. I'm going to press down a few more buttons that are on his right before there's a ship to start to roll to life. And everybody, they do at least feel a small jerk 
forwards as the ship does start to move. The ship pulling out of the Earth's orbit and away as Deku he sets his sights on the red marble. Now, this is where Deku he does start to inform everybody. This trip might take a few days, so he's going to at least be adding that to their expedition. And that does mean that the trip back will also be longer. Hmm? Perfect, fine. Whatever, we're just stuck on a ship with three years of supplies. Not like it matters. But what about the people? Hmm? Well, if they're in... We don't know about them yet. If they're still even alive or their life signs are still continuing, how else would that be? Everybody, sit down. Oh god, what did you find out? Something's wrong with the records on Earth. It's saying over 340 years have passed, from the day we left. Probably even longer. What? You can't be serious. It's not just that. There's mutants on the planet. Humans don't look like humans anymore. I'm guessing it's because of that goo. It's a mutagen of sorts. At least that's what the file does at least talk about. And looking at that firsthand, we have proof of it. So, if we can at least find these people, they may be the descendants of the everybody we used to know. So, what you're saying is, they might have leads to what could have happened to Earth. That are even possible leads on technology. Some we don't know about. We don't know how many are there. However, we'll find out soon enough. Either we find a ship full of corpses, or at least somebody alive. They mention cryogenic stasis, stasis. So there is that. But cryogenic stasis should be impossible. Apparently not if these people were hundreds of years ahead of us. But still, the science behind it, and all the complex math and even variables within it to keep someone alive for that long. It's an advancement for sure. That's the spirit. Now, all of you at least try to sober up for the next couple of days. We're going to need to be in actually top shape in order to go into this. Now, as Deku, he does say those words, everybody, well, they do try to follow some of them. Since everybody will, some of them, they are either at least still drinking quite a bit and at least trying to pass time by, it doesn't really work out too well. Since by the end of the day, Deku and everybody, they end up playing poker again. And the games do continue on. And we do actually have where tonight, Aki and Deku, whenever they were sitting together, everybody, they didn't really think too much about it. The thing that was different was Aki wasn't sitting across from Deku this time. She was actually just to his right. And she was even asking some questions whenever she was getting a bit too close up to Scar's body. And this is actually where everybody, they do start to notice this. Scar, what should I do with this hand? Hmm? That one's kind of easy. You might need a fold. Hmm? Are you sure? Should I not, not go... All in? No, I don't think so. Too risky. Besides, you'll be out of the game as soon as you do that. But can't I put almost all of it in and do a bluff? Doesn't work like that either. You can raise or call, but if you try and raise it too much, they'll see right through it. That's sort of the problem with that. But an all in bet? Some people back away from that, some people don't. That's on you, though. I'm not touching that. Oh, I see. Now, eventually, Deku and his crew, they would actually find this ship. And Deku is very surprised. Since whenever he does look at the ship, it's not what he expected. The ship, it's in good condition. And he can tell that there's something going on here. As you do have where he does try to radio in and get a response. As whenever he doesn't really get anything, he does try again. And again. 
until you do actually have where a voice finally does come through. Hello, is this the Wayland Utani's Corporation ship? Yes, hello. Who is this? I was unaware that there was anyone else out here. What vessel are you? I am not picking up on our instruments. That's classified. We are a military ship. We're being cloaked. And that is not for me to respond to you. I would like to know exactly what are you doing out here. Your ship sent a distress, a distress call back towards Earth. Yes, that was some time ago. We were able to get further out here. However, our crew member is there in stasis. We're running on minimal power. And our thrusters and engines, we believe that they are damaged. Something collided with part of our engine. And after having to eject it from the vessel, it sent off an EMP that turned off much of our electronics. Many of them were shielded, but some were fried. However, our colonists are in perfect condition. I see. All right. My ship is big enough for all of you to board. I can assist you. All right? Hmm. I understand. I will open up certain ports in the docking bay. Please let me know in your approach. Now, Deku, he does uncloak the ship. And whenever the docking is, well, done and all set, Deku, him and his crew, they do at least start to make their way towards it. And whenever they do open the panel that would connect the two ships together, Deku, he does get to walk out. As whenever he does walk across the area and the door does open, Deku, he does see a man. And the man, he's staying there with a set of blue eyes. Hello. I do not believe I recognize your, well, ship. I see. Well, it's not really easy to explain. Listen, there's a lot of complicated things going on. Our vessel is unmarked, but I can assure you, things haven't been too good. Yes, I understand. Shortly after we left, we believed to have, well, something strange was happening. We had our connections on our sever some time ago. The colonist and our captain, they've been in hibernation. I've been active for the last one hundred years? One hundred? Active? Yes, I am a Waylu's Utani automaton, and I've been active since the Calamity on Earth. You know about that? Yes, I do. I've been active since Earth was destroyed. And I would like to know, when was your vessel sent out? We haven't been able to make contact with the other ones Waylon Yutani's made. I'm sorry? Yes, are you not a Waylon Yutani's vessel? We're not. Listen. L just please wake up your captain. I need to explain to him a few things and then we can get you guys going. Yes, right away. The robot turning and walking away. As Deku, he at least does ask exactly what do they call him. Hmm? My model number? Serial number? Hmm. No, your name. My name. Hmm. That one is a bit more simple. The robot turning around. And Deku, he does at least hear the man say that his name is David. Now, with that being said, I do hope you guys enjoy.